Dr. Jean Shinoda Bolin has spent her career as a psychiatrist and a scholar healing others through her practice, research, and writing. The daughter of a doctor and a businessman, Dr. Bolin overcame a childhood overshadowed by World War II, which forced her family to move often throughout the country. Despite these obstacles, she became a leader in the psychiatric field and a celebrated prolific author. Dr. Shinoda Bolin graduated from the University of California at Berkeley in 1958 and went on to study medicine at UCSF, earning her medical degree in 1962. She completed her analytic training at the C.G. Young Institute in San Francisco. Uh, when I was asked, what do you want to be when you grow up, it was a serious question. I always also assumed that I would probably marry and be a mother, which I did. I didn't realize, since I was on such a career track, what a significant experience it would be to become pregnant, deliver a baby, and be a mother. That was a whole other side of my psyche and my life that I'm very grateful for. And that's certainly part of my whole pattern. It's, it's the career side, but it's the people side too. When I was in high school, I had a, a spiritual sense of how fortunate I was, and that giving back was the only way I could truly show my appreciation for the talents or the good parents or the opportunities. At least the way I was seeing my own life, I felt very fortunate. And so I decided that the best way to give back was to be a doctor. A distinguished life fellow of the American Psychiatric Association, Dr. Shinoda Bolin has lived her life with a sense of purpose and responsibility. She is a community leader and has served on various boards and associations on both a national and international level. She is a leading advocate for a UN Fifth World Conference on Women. I sort of am an accidental writer in a, in a, in a way, in that I, I was much more someone who gave talks than wrote. And I gave a talk on synchronicity or meaningful coincidence. And it so happened, as synchronicity might happen, the editor of Harper's was in the audience and found the subject fascinating and wondered if I would be interested in writing a book. And why not, why not try? She is currently a psychiatrist and Yingjin analyst in private practice and a clinical professor of psychiatry at UCSF. The author of 10 books, such as Urgent Message from Mother, Gather the Women, Save the World, and goddesses in every woman. Dr. Shinoda Bolin has put her teachings into books and lectures that emphasize women's strengths and the importance of spirituality. No one else can tell you what's going to be meaningful in your life, what you're going to love, who you're going to love really deeply. These are all inner kinds of things. And if you don't listen to your own heart, and your own talents, and your own imagination, and you let other people's judgments and imagine and ideas about who you should be get imposed on you. Then you spend the first life being inauthentic, first part of your life being inauthentic, and the second part of your life trying to find out who you forgot that was inside of you when you were young. So if you don't forget now, you can have a much straighter, more interesting course. The lessons she has penned have been translated into many foreign languages. In her poem, Untapped Source of Peace, Dr. Shinoda Bolin reflects that, quote, the only real hope is to draw upon the collective power of women. This one life you have is the most creative work of your entire life. And what happens to you 
is a combination of joy and suffering and perseverance out of which what I think really matters is character or integrity and kindness or compassion and it also means to be kind to yourself also the most important things in life are actually invisible it's love it's a feeling of being connected to something bigger than uh, what you can see